Yeah, one. I hope you guys are good. So, Pastor Mukuba's daughter, Maka Zingoveni, was live on Facebook. And she had promised that she's going to go live and drop some warning shots at her parents who still continue to step on her boundaries even when she has warned them not to do it because she says that she has a lot of incriminating evidence, you know, and things that she knows. And my heart is still broken even now after watching her live. I'm going to just attach the whole live here. Most of the live was actually done in a vendor language and even with her when she was speaking, you could tell that this is not a language she's comfortable with but because she wants to get the message to the right people, which is the vendor people or the supporters of her parents, she wanted to do it so that they can get the message. And also she said that she's doing the live on Facebook where majority of her mother's followers are so that they can come for her if they want and also they can see that this account has not been hacked. She's just tired and she wants to ask her parents to just step back and leave her alone so please do watch the live i will be back with the rest of my commentary okay hello like can somebody just type if I... okay it's fine now okay yeah all right i don't know what happened um but let's just wait for a couple more people to join and then we'll start Okay, like I was saying before, guys, um, I'm just showing my face so that Usongo feel the muti, the hekiwa or whatever, like then there, and but then, as you can see, I was like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the camera facing up, but I'm still going to talk. Um, and obviously, if this gets mass reported, because I know that's very possible. If it gets mass reported, I'll just take it to Instagram. And then if it gets mass reported there, I'll just take it to TikTok. And we'll just keep talking. So yeah, let's start. Let me so everybody saw what it didn't they my cutsy. Did they wear passage? Okay, they told me, like, should I start? Eh, yeah, eh, sorry. Ati wo hapo unitakaza wewe. Kari tome na epo gori ngari wewe ni kumburo rite hapo o apiza wewe. Hayu amba hambi mara. Nedi hapa because I just want peace and I want my parents to leave me alone and I will need them to know that I am serious. Uri, if they continue, I'll still continue as well. I'm not here uri gorwewe no mbulia or anything. So, nisongo mbuzori dinatuba lote because it's very simple. I'll just go to a different platform. It's that very simple. Or I'll find other ways. So, um, <laughs> back to the beginning so just to make it clear ne? like i'll start by something small just to show them or the serious and if they continue like i asked them very nicely and they continued so this is basically just a warning shot but it will literally progressively get worse as they keep on doing what they're doing. So, Karto Megauri, Wewe Chere Deza Wewe Zivisang Wana Wawula Mutuje, when he goes around abusing women. Um, last year, Ho Ambiwa Uri, Awala Mutuba Amba Ga GBV, Gender Based Violence, whereas Watubabo Kangom Kreken Yabo Baba Kulila. And it didn't go. But to Banjiba Bakorida, Rivar Korida, Sabasati Mara when it favors her na Casey Yabo Zazi Koti, but Doba Kamba got gender based violence. Um English I mean I was the gender model see the Dom Bajku was sometimes I've been my if you have Venda Happy. Okay, so um Wanawabo. Ruzani wa mtukana who is my brother. 
literally goes around una zi protection order zaba zi girlfriend zaba sidzana uba akho uba rwa left right and center and obviously and let me say allegedly before i get a lawyer's letter even though this is something i heard from bom kuba herself uri zichede zawe zijiwa ola mutu aviso ajere jigi jigi the case is called dropi so kare tomene zino ba chamba gajeda based violence they are saying and then they like uri so this is what we do like it's like i said ruko toma gajtuk as if you could even stuck like this is still nothing um they saying i'm hacked again <laughs> Uh, um for those who just joined and still think that i'm hacked this is me this is my voice i just look crusty right now and that's why i put it up anyway um so yeah rich but what you have because gender-based violence it is so cool say i go really the world in behind closed doors and they as you pay the code revival back of visa back to generate or revival could visa um her son jerry after i wanted the protection order after actually we were actually robbers and everything as you put it up it doesn't end there she will then go forward and basically make the victims feel bad and forgive him by using the bible and literally be saying things like um yeah the bible says forgive the bible says this and literally re-victimizing people and about that that's the thing it's not literally just um one one girl that has experienced this this has been something jine just quite in last year even last year and it's the guy the mingwa like it's been years mara ziche deza wewe zita ni ziviso la mutuje basically ziche deza wewe is used to control people control la pala petu na manipulation your data like it's it's a lot it's a lot. I didn't even know they were really where should I start. Like it's literally a lot. But like I said, for now this is just a warning shot to to show or be serious. And the next time when I speak, it won't be this. It won't be to as a fluff piece. Because next time the che amber, the doubles you are serious. And I to do when a next time. I don't want there to be a next time because at the end of the day, I tell being what I want is just for them to leave me alone. That is all that I want. Like, that's all I've been crying for. Do you guys know Uri last year you are Ababa to Boba Koekto Uri Ngari her child is getting married. Whereas behind the scenes, she was actively sabotaging my marriage and my wedding. Actively sabotaging. And like, Kariju Rao, let's actually take it from the beginning. Um, when they, the Kumbura, like, I was very, very depressed growing up, like, seriously, severely depressed because, um, what is happening? Oh, because basically there was no peace in that household, like, zero peace. Every single day, it was a fight. A week would not end between my parents, especially, throwing things at each other, and it literally only stopped when my nephew got born in like 2020 it stopped for like a few months and it carried on again and then we were to have peaceful marriages whereas they said we're touching their own child's peaceful marriage and whereas and that's why but what you would say some more over the story why this one got chatted a great game go to at the time my mom yeah i don't know that's what i mean though they were one of first hand and one of the again that i can say but yeah like erin the body is a comment and then i will cut it here and just leave erin the body let me read. But um, but at the corner by the event, so maybe comment on it at the corner, like in English. Um,
yeah but again um just to close it off again i just started off small so that they can know that i'm serious because they continued after i asked them nicely and i've tried everything and they still continued and what they have done to me is deep and what they continue doing to me not only me but other people and victimizing people and all these things is very deep and i just want them to stop gunning it. like that's all i'm asking for so if they continue i will also continue um but everything else i think yeah i'm just gonna leave it there the sabotaging part um but yeah i think that it will be a video for another day it was too many like the whole of last year i think dojiamba kala via instagram uri i was literally crying the whole of last year and when people say that i shouldn't drag them through the mud do you know that they drag me through the mud on a daily basis and it's the fumurera and i keep quiet and i don't retaliate i don't say anything i have been taking this for years Baba Bakung abuser for years. And then that Bible, you know, re, um, honor your father and mother. It also goes forward to say a lot of things that they contravene on a day-to-day -day basis. And then they go there, Panda, Bashumisa Chedeza, where to enable the abuse that they keep putting out there. So, um, yeah, she did marry me and my husband. I didn't have a choice on that one. So, but then the Kwambori, that's why this one was chatted like again. But, yeah um can they just give me peace can they just leave me alone that's all i ask even though the daka facebook cut domain yeah well because i could have easily gone to tiktok and instagram where i know that everybody would have been on my side i just want them to leave me alone Gore, i know you guys will still go to that church and that's fine i want that i love that for you guys and i love it for them just leave me alone and let me live my life okay bye yo guys this is so heartbreaking hey like the allegations, ay, 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 ay. from the brother who is abusive and the mother is always bailing him out and making the victims feel bad, victimizing the victims even more. And the parents always fighting in the house and the toxicity in the house, you know, while people are giving. This is, these are her words, you know, for those who don't understand Venda while people are throwing money at her for her to be able to do these things that she does her, their money is being used to bail out this brother who has protections order everywhere so it's the brother to makazi and it's the son to pastor mukuba you know and she's speaking about how she didn't even want to be to, she didn't want her wedding to be officiated at the church because she does not know what spirits are possessing the church and she was talking about how all these people who always go to her mother to be prayed for for peaceful marriages she does not even have a peaceful marriage guys at this point like my jaw is on the floor i will be back with um another video maybe in the morning but for tonight i just wanted to do this so that you guys can be in the loop but yeah this is heartbreaking this is sad and at this point, you know, I really want to say, ah, Piamanga, army, where are my lies? Because every time when I speak about church head and how people pretend and how people in the church are going through a lot, uh, people always as assume that it's because I have my own church head and I need to deal and heal and whatever, you know. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not seeing things. I'm not hearing things. These are the real things that are happening. I wish to sit down with this um, lady one time, you know, just so that we can have a conversation so that all the pastor's kids can really just find the comfort. I'm already seeing a lot of DMs, you know, and comments as well from pastor's kids and what they've been through and how their relationships with their parents are not working out. And all I can say is I, I think the reason why these things are such disastrous things, like they, it's a disaster. It's because there's a lot of pretense and if we don't acknowledge and accept that we are not okay as a nation, we need some healing or something, then obviously, you know, we are not going to be able to get the help that we need. So I feel like the same applies to pastors. This thing of them, you know, majority of them believing that they are the next thing closest to Jesus, so they don't need help. They are pretending to be titanium all the time. This is one of the reasons why their families fall apart, you know. Um, 
it's not yes the devil plays a big role in relationships and just killing stealing and destroying but at the same time if you don't say jesus if you don't say lord lord how are you supposed to get help because you are pretending or you are acting as if you are stronger than whatever it is that you're facing you know sometimes really we need to practice what we preach as the people of god and when we say people should learn to surrender to jesus we should also do the same you know this surrendering to jesus is not for just some people it's for everybody but let me leave it here for tonight 